Hello everyone, welcome to another Creative Crafts Niche video. Today I'm, sh I'm sharing with you another card that I put together for May May Made It's Design Team YouTube Hop. And our hop is called Critter Christmas in July. Um, I'm using May May's stamp set called Critter Christmas. The stamps that I'm using in this uh, video are I'll Be Home for Christmas and Be Merry. Now, for this one, I only use the word Mary and in the inside of the card and then this part of I'll be home for Christmas in the inside of the card. Um, you'll see that when I show you. Um, I also used these two these two cartridges, the Creator Critter 2 and the Camping Critters. From the Camping Critters, I did this owl and that's on page 36 and I cut him out at three and a half inches. Now for the cre Creator Critter cartridge, Creator Critter 2 cartridge, I just used this, these two images here and what I did was I stretched it and I shortened it to be the size that I needed it to be in order for it to fit nicely onto my owl. This is how my owl came out and what I did was I put some glossy accents on his um I forget I forgot what you call this uh oh crap anyways I put um some glossy accents on here on his nose and on his eyes and on his feet and then for his hat and scarf I cut it out with some um, glitter paper and so he's gonna look like that um we're going to be making an A2 size card and an A2 size card is going to be a uh, landscape and so it basically opens up this way so if you have your 8.5 by 11 cardstock you will cut it down the middle and then when you're going to make the card you just score it down down here at 5.5 so it's going to be a 4.5 by 11 scored at five and a half so um, for the inside I did it very simple this time and I did Merry Christmas and again what I did was I just inked up just part of each stamp set uh, part of each stamp so I stamped Merry Christmas and I stamped it there then I stamped I mean sorry Christmas I stamped it there and then I stamped on Merry and I stamped it there so basically I was able to um, get more out of this stamp set. Now for the front of my card, I'm using this um, um, this uh, polka dot. It's, it's, it looks kind of um, messy because all I did was I took my, um, where is it? I took my glitter and I just put some glue, um, glitter glue all in the outer sections where um, my owl um, won't be covering so basically instead of doing the whole thing with glitter I just did the outer sections and as you can see in the lighting you can kind of see the impression of the owl there and so this measures uh, four and a quarter by five and a half and we're gonna go ahead and adhere this straight onto the card And what I did was I pre-taped um, this because I can't. I wanted this video to be really, really short. My videos tend to be super long, and I just want the this video to be short so I can upload fast. Um, there. So now for the bottom. I use, I also use um, my my Alpine Trails punch from EK Success and hold on let me fix my lighting here there we go 
and what I did was I cut out the green and then I cut out the same using the same punch I cut it out on white so but what I did was for the white it was I went ahead and I trimmed off all the trees and you can see how I did that in this other video that I did where I, I did a card and it says sending you um, um, a big thanks and then over here are these pieces of of white I just you know hand trimmed and I went ahead and I stamped my I'll be home for Christmas stamp right there so we're gonna go ahead and just um, place, place this down at the very bottom I'm gonna try to And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my owl at the very front. And I wanted to pop him down, but because of the way he is cut, he has pretty much a lot of dimension. I don't know if you can see that. But he has a lot of dimension on him already, so I figured, you know, he's good just like that. Okay. So basically, that's the front of my card. Okay. I'll be home for Christmas. And that's the inside of my card. So I basically went very, very um, simple this time around and um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably um, do some doodling here um, to see you know if it kind of makes the the card pop out here I don't know I'm gonna try that out on a separate piece of cardstock and see how that looks and if it comes out my doodling comes out nice I'll do that and um, if you would like to see um, my finish project you can visit my blog at creativecraftsneech.blogspot.com and um, here, here's the list of the, vid the um, videos that are left so today I did mine which is what you see right here and then um, we have left let me get this in the frame then we have left um, Amy's, which she will be doing hers uh, tomorrow. And then we have a May May on the 26th, Judy on the 27th, Andy on the 29th, Jessica on the 30th, and Amy on the 31st. So on the 31st, um, after Amy does her video, I will be um, announcing an update on the giveaway, um, as I mentioned before. As long as you have this cartridge and you're a subscriber to all of our channels and you've let, left a comment on all of these videos, um, then um, all you have to do is go ahead and send me, uh, uh, PM me your personal email so that I can go ahead and send you a copy of the the um, digital image that I made um, on my on my gypsy and you'll be able to use it on your Cricut craft room and your um, gypsy and I don't know if you see my other video and basically what you'll get to be able to do with these with this die cut is you can cut it out on um, cardstock like that and layer it down and you can also um, make embossing folders and if you look at my um, video on how to make stencils um, do-it-yourself stencils and embossing folders using um, upcycled um, clear plastic cover um, packaging you'll be able to um, make this stencil slash embossing folder 
Let me see if I can find that for you so I can go ahead and show you what that looks like. Okay. So this is the embossing folder that I made. Um, so basically, let me see. So basically, it looks like that. Okay. And then um, what I also did was I took out, I did, you know, some inking on this. I just put it here. And I was able to ink it and I was kind of showing you what other stuff you can do with it. So this is a multi-purpose um, embossing folder that I put together using clear plastic, plastic packaging from a, a makeup um, brushes that I bought for myself. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and you have a blessed day. Bye.